Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, so welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1, where we preach good governance, where we preach ballot revolution, where we tell you that now we, the people, now we be government. We. Now we, now we, now we be government. Now, um, since after this whole um, drama of um, tribunal, the buying and selling of judgment, the Agbado judgment that was delivered by men without men without shame and honor, covering their shame with the white man wig, they thought that they have succeeded. Because looking at Nigerians with the way things are, how things are biting hard, the economy is biting, the insecurity is getting tougher and more severe. The system is falling and breaking to pieces. We are drowning and descending to abyss. Yes, Nigerians are indifferent, going about as if to say they are living normal. And we preach on this platform that nothing will come out of the judiciary in this country if the people did not rise up and wake up. Because what we are seeing is a blatant tyranny, impunity, total disregard of law by the government itself, the people that have hijacked the government. I thought I'm almost giving up on Nigerians until I saw this video. Yeah. Well, it went this way. At the second stage of the fight is a legal fight. This is not the last stage of it. Some people will argue. Yes. Well, we have some people yes. already argued that yes. this morning. Yes. And however it, it comes, however it comes, there's also a last lap of yes. which is the Supreme Court. Would you wait for that? I don't think we are going to wait for the Supreme Court because any subverted judgment given today will push the Nigerian people on the street. And anybody who thinks in this country that the Court of Appeal is the, I mean, the, the Supreme Court is the only source of judgment, that person is lying. The highest point of judgment in any country is the people. And when the masses rise against the legality, illegality of governance, nobody can stop them. Even when the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court gives a subverted judgment, we are going to walk on the street if it's not in connection with what the people want. The decree and the development and the value of the people in democracy matters. The people are the judgment. And the judgment is for the people. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good. That is just the starting point. It has encouraged me to tell the rest of other Nigerians to join in this fight. Nigerians now Nigerians call. President Tinubu must go. A moment of truth has arrived, and Nigerians stand at the crossroad. The controversy of the 2023 presidential election likened to daylight robbery and now unveils a shocking revelation as the Chicago State University confirmed that the certificate President Tinubu presented to INEC for 2023 presidential election qualification was forged. Under our constitution, Tinubu is disqualified as the president of Nigeria and must resign now. Tinubu must go. His primary, secondary, and university certificates are are all fake. His age forged. His gender fabricated. Tinubu must go. Resign within 14 days. President Tinubu has been exposed as a forster, forger, and imposter. President Tinubu is now internationally recognized as a forger, imposter, and impersonator. This has brought national shame and international disgrace upon all Nigerians across the world. Nigerians say no to a fake president. Nigerians say no to a forger. Nigerians say no to an imposter, an impersonator. Tinubu must resign. The National Protest Congress Committee, along with Nigerian civil society, market, and professional association and diaspora organizations, demand resignation of President Tinubu and Vice President Shetima within 14 days. Notice or face a unified, peaceful public eviction from Azurak. Rise up.
rise up fellow Nigerians. Let's save our beloved Nigeria. Let's reclaim our stolen sovereignty. Let's reject impunity and corruption. Let's restore justice, democracy and the people's mandate. Let's renew hope for our children and our future. The time is now. Our future, our sovereignty lies within our hands. Sign up, sign in, join the mega peaceful protest if Tinubu doesn't resign within 14 days. National Protest Congress Committee, phone number plus one two zero two four four six seven 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 five. Nigeria says President Tinubu must go. go. If you don't come out, nothing will come out of that Supreme Court other than other than that Agbado shredded shameful judgment of impunity. They will totally disregard the laws of Nigeria as they are using it. That's why the fact that the law people have described it, the Nigerian constitution as a piece of document that have made Nigeria impossible to develop. That has divided this country and put this country on the path of destruction completely. Even at that, that is what is workable in this country until you have reasonable people to change it to a, to a good or better working frame. Of course, I always admonish that this country should be restructured to regions. This big enclave, as they call it, um, large economy of people, people that are unproductive. A country of 200 million that are unproductive, that countries with less than two, three, four million people are producing far, far better than them. You are, you are having, so it's better to break this country. That is my position. I've always said that. But nothing will happen if you don't have the right people in power. Because these criminals in Abuja, whether at the National Assembly or at, uh, at the Judiciary or even at, in Asor, inside Asorok, eh? these three arms of impunity you have in this country, if you do not rise to change it for them, to be honest with you, that change they promise you, eh? using the broom, Hmm, we will never see finish, I tell you. So Nigerians, irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of your religion, irrespective of wherever you're coming from or whatever you're agitating, as long as Nigeria has happened to you in this country, or even if you're outside, join in this fight. Let our people from across the world, wherever you are, join in this fight. Demand that this government must be stepped down and pushed aside. Illegitimate government, as far as I'm concerned, except Nigerian people have adopted it as a legitimate government. And the way you can adopt it is just by looking at Kimbo and do nothing. Joining this demand that this government must step aside and let the reflection of the will of the people be enshrined. That is just all Nigerian people are asking for. If you believe in this message, help me share it to every Nigerian home and abroad. Let the revolution start now. I'm also Chinedu Peters, the advocate for good governance and power belongs to the people. The sovereignty of Nigeria is upon Nigerian people and now we be government. Help me share this video to everyone. Bye-bye for now.